dog. Clubhouse is still my shit. I am at Kendrick Avant. I have my own group, Mindset Over Bullshit. But really, I'm on there just to rock the rooms and connect with people. I am not on there, dog, with a bunch of rooms trying to build and grow shit. I'm on there just to talk and connect. Clubhouse is my shit. I know y'all waking up this Monday, man. I'm waking up on Monday with all the love in the world for your local gas station. Hell yeah. I am bringing attention to your local gas station because they see you at your worst, queen. King, dog, they see us when we ain't brushed our teeth, wearing the same clothes three or four days in a row, and we just trying to get something to smoke or sip on. Doug, shout out to the local gas station. The one who was close to me used to even make sure he had the right size Red Bull and my favorite beer in stock. Hell yeah, Doug. Shout out to the gas stations, man. Y'all know who y'all are. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos allowed me to reintroduce myself to you. I am Kendrick Avanto, agent of gratitude, because all I do is slide in with that gratitude journal and remind you of the stories that keep your thoughts away from abandonment, away from the critical illness, away from the imposter syndrome. And my intention today, I got to catch my damn me computer equipment. I've been at the new gig now, the new career. I got to stop saying gig and say the new career for starting off week number four. Waiting on my computer equipment so I can go and take off and start doing my thing, man. That's my only intention today. My number one priority. That's it. That's it. Catch my equipment because I missed it on Saturday. I think they bullshitting, but I missed it. Call to action. I'm going to stay up this morning. That's it, man. That's the call to action. A lot of times I get up early on like Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and I fuck around and get up and get back in the bed before six. And then I get up 6.37 and I fuck around and damn near be late to work. I'm going to stay up this morning. No bullshit, I'm gonna stay up. That's, that's my call to action. Get this thing going. What I learned today is Monday, all weekend, we watch these different Netflix stand-ups. I mean, like Snoop has one, Amy Schumacher has one, Pete Davidson has one. There's one for the LGBTQ community. There's one with uh, with Lily Davidson. Look, there's a lot, like that seems to be the thing to do. Now we knocked out damn near all of it. Like everything Netflix popped up with with comedy shit, because I'm big on comedy, it keeps my mind away from everything. Yeah, we jumped on all this shit. And the best one out of everybody was that LGBTQ one. <laughs> Every single comic they brought up was on fire, man. Every single song was popping. The LGBTQ one, that's what I learned. That was the top one out of everything on Netflix. That's the best, that's the best shit that I've seen all year so far. King's Care. I'm gonna keep talking out loud. I'm getting better at it this weekend. I've gotten up. I have woken up early. I'm doing my thing all weekend. Monday, I'm supposed to start doing shit. I mean, like everything is rocking and rolling. I've got to keep talking out loud because I think the weekend went so well because I did I did a good job of talking out loud like I said I was going to and everything else. I got these tools in place to keep my mindset from going negative. I gotta keep that shit up. And it's funny because they called me out at work for how much I keep moving my lips and everything on camera and who am I talking to? And I was embarrassed to say I'm talking to myself and told them, well, I'm, I'm talking to the screen and I tried, I tried to rationalize it. I should've just told them, I talk to myself as y'all are talking. That way it stays in my head longer with the goals and everything else. And it keeps me with, and it keeps me from thinking negative. So I had to keep that shit going. That 
is what I'm doing for my self-care. Keep the talking out loud going. King's News. Jamaica is my spot. I adopted my colors. Red, yellow, black, green from the Jamaican flag. I love everything about Jamaica, man. Doug, I don't... Even, even even back when I was a kid, I was big on Jamaica. So when I saw this Jamaican cat, legs missing, and the wheelchair he has built. The world's still on. Where they, where they? Yes, man. This is so... Uh, oh, where'd you blow? Hold on. Whoa. Did you see that thing going reverse, man? So anytime you are struggling, anytime you wonder and thinking to yourself, damn, it's so hard. Ain't nobody, can't nobody, won't nobody. I want you to think about this video that I showed y'all. Because damn it, we out there doing things, dog. Don't tell me you can't do any damn me thing. Your leg's missing. You got MS, fibromyalgia. Whatever limitation, seen or unseen, don't tell me shit, dog. I can't stand that. The video I showed you, that's what made me stop my damn me scrolling. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, dog. That right there was some crunk ass shit. Oh, the damn. Keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple. The goal is to drink the three full glasses of water. That'll make me 75 ounces. If I finish this one early, that'll be the first 25 before five o'clock in the morning. The rest of the time, it'll be easy. I bullshit because I don't wake up and drink it. A lot of times I don't have the water there but on time. When the water is there on time, I don't put it in my backpack. It's all kind of shit, dog. If you, if you are, if you live by the bed, if you live by the wheelchair, you know what I mean. You can only get to what you can reach. So, Either way, my goal today, three of them things. And if I get that first one, if I drink this first one right now, I'm good to go. Queen's thoughts. Everything you have gone through has created a mosaic, colorful and rich. Each experience added depth to your life, giving you greater awareness and understanding. You are a brave soul, and as you overcome hardship, you become a beacon for others, glimmering hope in dark places. Continue to spread your brilliance. The world is a better place with you in it. And the question today, I know I had to stop and read that one, get that one together. And the question today, how will you bring hope and love to those around you. Easy. No, it's not. It wasn't easy. Let me, let me stop bullshitting. My, what I have decided to do is put a greater emphasis on spreading this podcast, broadcast, this thing free, man. Because what we are learning here in Mindset Over Bullshit what you are getting from me, what I want you to vibe with, the message I want you to receive is that if you cannot get better, you can always be better. You can always be a better parent. You can always be a better spouse. You can always be a better son. There are so many ways you can be better. I don't give a damn if they tell you that you cannot get better. And that's the message I want people to understand. Yo, dog, these classes are free. We are here every single day. This is 6 a.m. I want this out there. And that's what I intend to do to spread the hope, to spread the love, is this message that we're going with every day. Classes are free, dog. Mindset of a bullshit. Gratitudes, yo, I got five for y'all, so I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna try to put it together fast. Number one, I am grateful that I paid my life insurance. That is a relief to know if something happens, the fam gets something. And uh, you just don't understand, until you don't have it 
and then when you can't not to get it, you're terrified. You're terrified. And I know you just gotta get over shit like that, but I paid mine. I paid mine. It's not enough, but damn it, I paid mine. Number two, I'm grateful that I called my mama yesterday. She did not answer. Cool beans. I sent that thing out. She knows I called. It's 2022. There is a whole call message. I know it says Miss Call. It is a relief off my shoulders. And I will hit her up again today because I cannot give up after one. But damn it, I tried the first time. Gratitude number three. Those I got five for y'all. I, I, I gotta move fast. I paid the T-Mobile bill. And that is crucial because, yo, man, everything I do, I'm not, not only am I disabled, but it's 2022. Your phone, your internet, the Wi-Fi, all that's crucial. You got to have that going. Pay the phone bill. On top of that, I get to go to work on a Monday. Damn it, because my phone bill, fucking with T-Mobile, phone bill, the Wi-Fi, everything is together. Number four, I did two sets of yoga poses for the first time in over a month. Knocked that thing off for the first time. I ain't gotten so good to where I'm doing it every four to six hours. I realized that was too much. I'm putting too much crazy pressure on myself. Since then, I've relaxed way too much. For the first time, I did two rounds in a day. I could have done three. I was about to do three. I just fucked around and fell asleep. I'm still grateful for that because it just proves that I can do it, that I'm feeling better, the new routines are working. Yeah, good shit. And the last one, number five. Dog, your boy had, has had a bowel movement four out of five days. Has my stomach been hurting? Yes, because I got ulcerative colitis. I got IBS, all type of shit. But the way I'm grubbing, the steps I'm moving, means that it's working. And I ain't even been on the vitamins and supplements yet. I'm on something, dog. I'm on something. Y'all get your gratitude journals done. Be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I'm out. Thinking better. Being better starts with you getting a gratitude journal and following me every day on this journey. It all starts with you.